morning everyone. Really excited to do this post today um, because my brand new changing bag has arrived. I am a convert to Packapod and um, wouldn't have any other kind of changing bag. Um, but I've been toying with the idea of getting a new one now that I'm going to be at home with Abby more um, as a little treat. I'm sure everyone will recognise that when you've got a changing bag to carry around you don't have your own handbag and so this is the next best thing um so my the bag that i've been using so far is the pack pod napier which you can probably just see there um which has been an absolutely fantastic bag um but a friend of mine got the frenzy um i really like the look of it and decided to go ahead and buy it so i put it in the chocolate color it comes in um a putty color which is sort of a a, a dark creamy kind of colour um, and what I really wanted to talk about today was the difference between the two bags um, and it might help you to make a decision if you're torn and you're not sure whether to spend the money on the Frenzy. So um, the differences between the two, um, they both have the front cargo part, so place where you put your um, pods. I've transferred everything into the new one now, but I'll, I'll show you some of the big differences. So the first thing is inside the Napier, the, there's a sort of pocket where you can put bits and pieces. I used to put the changing mat um, in there, whereas with the Frenzy, you don't get that. It's just sewn in. Um, the changing mat for both is the same. I don't have the, the changing mat for the Napier anymore, um, but they come, they're just sort of, you know, pod shaped. They're pretty flimsy, um, you, you know, they're not, they're not the most comfiest things in the world, and to be honest, I just tend to put Abby's head on a pillow, um, so, you know, I don't worry too much um, about the sort of the luxury um, changing mats. Um, the pods are different, that's one thing I did want to talk about. So, this is the standard pod for the, the changer one that comes um, inside, it's got place for your wipes um, and then two sections on each side for lotions and potions bits and pieces and then at the back goes the wipes um, and then there is ex an extra bit at the back where you can put the bits as well um, the, you can hang them by with this little strap on the pram if you're going out and about and don't want to take your whole bag um, so this was quite nice because it was velcro and it feels quite substantial um, and one of the things that I wasn't too sure about with the the luxury one if you like is that the strap it just looks like I don't know similar to something you get on a bra strap so it just hooks in but it, it can come you know comes undone fairly fairly easily um, so I'm not really sure I might have to do some kind of jiggly pokery um, to make that a little bit more secure um, I suppose you could knot it, but you know, it wouldn't look very nice when you've got your fancy, pa you know, fancy pants changing pad with with a knot on it. Um, but nevertheless, so it's got a viewing pouch on the front, um, and I think Packapod say this is good because you can look in and you can see if you've got wipes. Um, but you know, I always check anyway. So if you've got cute nappies, like mine's got a little owl one, you can sort of see the little owl poking through. So I suppose that's quite cute. Still has the bit at the back, um, the, the pocket at the back. Um, inside, so in here I've got um, nappies four in there. Abby is a four plus, so they're in there. Oh, there, I've been looked at that one. I think the one with the owl might be fours because um, she's kind of between sizes and there's some with polka dots. I always get um, Asda nappies. Um, but they're the ones that are in there. I've got some um, sun cream, uh, change of clothes for Abby. Um, I've got a vest, a top, um, a little pair of um, black leggings, some pink socks. Uh, you also get inside as well um, a little pouch for putting dirty or wet clothes in, uh, which is quite handy. Um, bags, uh, anti back gel, tissues, some hand cream, um, big tube.
tube of bepanthin. She's got really bad sore skin at the moment. Um, so big bepanthin. And then, as some of you know, Abby has really bad eczema. So I've got a little tube of cetraben, um, which I can have out and about if, if her skin's really upset now and, and it's sore. Um, I've got wipes, a dummy. Um, and then on the side here, there is an extra little pocket which you can put things like, um, I've got a couple of plasters in there, some cowpaw and a uh, first aid cream. So you, you get that extra pocket, uh, which is quite big actually, um, and then inside that pocket there is uh, like another little meshy pocket as well. Um, so you can fit a lot in there, um, so you know there is, there is a difference between the two pods, this one's a cream colour, this one's a grey colour. Um, so those are the, are, are the changer pods and then you've got the feeder pod so the feeder pod in the old one is black um, no pockets or anything on there on the outside and then inside again no pockets just just the bag itself um, standard one again with the velcro um, and the new one again has this um, this system which I'm not 100% sold on um, but the difference between these ones, they've got straps on the back, so as Abby gets older, she can start to wear this, and then it has a pouch on the front, and on the website packer pod say, you can put a picture of your child in there or something. I'm not sure if if that's needed, or whether I would use that particularly, but nevertheless. Um, inside here, so it has something different, it does have a little section in there, a little thick pocket, whoops, just throwing a cup over there, which you can put a spoon in, nice little box in, bits and pieces, and then in there, I always carry a meal ready for Abby, so um, I've got a cow and gate apple crumble, uh, I have a cow and gate little steamed meal, sweet potato mash and chicken, uh, which um, you can heat up in the microwave, and to be honest, I think you can have them cold, but I don't think Abby would eat if I gave her that, I don't think she would eat it cold. Um, I have a Annabelle Caramel um, Apple Baked Biscuit, and then one, two, three, four bibs, and then that's it for the inside of the, the feeder pod. Both insulated, um, and then they come with um, bottle warmers as well, I don't have the... Um, the one for the standard one but again Abby doesn't have bottles anymore so um, this is kind of redundant um, so those are the pods and then in terms of other storage I also sorry I also have Abby's cup in the feed pod as well um, other storage with the Napier you get the massive inside bit of the bag so it goes all the way down you can't really sort of get a sense of how big it is really, but that inside bit goes all the way inside. There are no zips in that section, but what I really loved was that it has extra bits for the parent section. So at the back here, there was another pocket. The width of the back, all that section there can fit stuff in. And then there is another pocket which is zipped here, which has got um, your stretchy um, sort of carabiner clip for keys, and then there is uh, another little, two little um, pockets in there. Oh, I've just found my scissors in the back of there, which I always carry around. So I'll put those key, uh, scissors into here. Um, but it, it's really good. You can, you can get a lot in the pocket of that bag. Um, and this is where I was a little bit disappointed with the Frenzy. Um, because all you get, I mean, you know, it, it is... It is huge. You know, you can get a lot of stuff in there. Like, to give you an example, like this cushion. It's, it's a fairly big cushion. But, you know, I can put that cushion. I can fit that cushion inside the bag. You know, it's, it's not like it's a small bag. But it doesn't have loads of pockets, and I like pockets. Um, it has two. Um, which are in there, just two pockets, they're, they're not elasticated or anything like that, it's just two, and then on the other side there is a zip pocket, uh, which you can probably see there, 
uh, which you know you, you can fill with all your mummy junk. Um, you know, I have um, I have just my glasses, um, odds and ends of makeup, a pen. Um, you know, usually I have my phone and my purse in there. So it, it's not like you can't fit lots in it. But I did like the navy because you get a bit more separate. You know, and you could put your phone. You know, I used to I used to find it really useful just to pop my phone in there. So. I'll probably end up swapping the two around and, you know, depending on the situation or wherever we're going, I might change it. Um, and then the other thing to finally mention are the pram clips. So if I just show you, the pram clips of all the friends here are a lot thinner. Um, the, the actual bit that goes onto the, the bag, so this plastic bit here is the same size, but the clip is thinner. Um, and then where it clips onto the bag, it just clips on sort of on this little D here. Whereas on the Napier, um, you know, you can take off this. I, I like the handle, I used to use the handle a lot. Um, but it's actually got um, a hole with a ring that's reinforced so it'll be nice and strong. Um, whereas obviously with, with this one, it is, it's double sewn so it's, it, it's nice and strong. Um, but again, you know, just something um, to, to think about. And the strap, um, it, it's a lot thinner, whereas on the Napier, it's, it's a really thick, chunky bag. Uh, strap, sorry. So there's the difference um, between the two bags. I'm going to try them both out, but for now, I'm quite excited about using the Frenzy out and about and seeing how I feel and if there are things that... I'm not, I don't like, I'll go back to the Napier. So thanks for listening to the review and I'll see you soon. Bye.